This presentation is a description and overview of a set of classroom uh, materials that use a unique ice core data set. And this investigation exemplifies the next generation science standards, which encourages educators to show their students how the scientific process actually works and how it actually works in the real world. So this set of materials was developed um, in, it's in advance of the NGSS, but you will see as we go along that this is a perfect example of what you need to do in the classroom in order to teach your students how science actually works in the real world. I am Donna Young. I work for the Chandra X-ray Education and Public Outreach Program, and we develop this set of materials, and they are on the website. If you go to the Chandra X-ray Observatory website, click on the Education menu, and you will have three choices. Uh, classroom Ready Activities, when you click on that menu, up comes the page where all of our educational materials are posted. The very first set of materials posted is the ice core records from volcanoes to supernovas. Uh, it is uh, an earth and space science oriented investigation and we have several supporting materials, uh, background information, and all of the materials that are needed for you to do this investigation are available online for you to download. I am going to go, this, actually this webinar, uh, once it has been edited, uh, it will be a link to this webinar, will be located on this website, uh, right above the teacher guide. So I am going to go down through each of these different segments and give you an idea of what they, are, what they contain and how you can use this in the classroom. In spring of 2012, we sponsored, the EPO office uh, sponsored an, one of the issues of the National Earth Science Teachers Association's uh, educator magazines. These come out every about four times a year, once every season. And we sponsored this one, and within this one there, we did, I did write an article to describe the ice core record investigation. And if you have that issue, that's fine. If you can acquire one, that's great. But if you cannot, we, uh, you, we made a um, provision on the NASTA website that you can download a, for free a PDF of this issue any time that you want to. There is no time limit on that. And that also describes this investigation, gives all the links, and it is more geared towards educators and the rationale for using this investigation in the classroom. There are 10 very strong links with this investigation and the next generation science standards. In the teacher guide, we have keyed this investigation to the uh, NRC science standards and to benchmarks. Uh, when this was posted, it was just at the beginning of the next generation science standards coming out. They weren't finalized yet. Uh, within the next two months, we, I will be keying this investigation to the next generation science standards. As you can see, uh, scientific, and, scientific and engineering practices, uh, very important working with models. That is exactly what an ice core strip is, a model of Earth's history. Uh, analyzing and interpreting the data within the core and then um, using whatever evidence you have to defend um, the, the labeling and the dating of the ice core record when you come to the conclusion. At the very end of this investigation, the students do have to make choices and defend their choice. Uh, Cross-cutting concepts, patterns, uh, it is something that transcends all disciplines. It's very important. In this particular investigation, what's really important are the anomalies, are the exceptions to the pattern, which of course can give you just as much information as an actual cyclic pattern can. 
And what causes the anom these anomalies to appear? What's the mechanism that produces these anomalies? And how do you explain those? And energy and matter, because we are talking volcanoes, solar proton events, high energy radiation from collapsing stars hundreds and thousands of light years away. Disciplinary core ideas, of course, first is energy. Uh, energy in the form of radiation, energy in the form of um, the pressure and heat that produces vol volcanic products. We're talking about Earth systems, uh, plate tectonics, uh, the meteorological cycle, which is very important for this ice core record also. And within this record, there is also evidence of human activity that has created anomalies in the ice core record. And of course, there is a link between the science and the technology and the engineering with society, because also this ice core spans a very interesting historical period in time. So science in the real world, it's messy. It's complicated, it's challenging, and there is no answer key. Now, I taught high school physics for 10 years, and in order to show my students, as we all do, the elegance and the beauty of physics and physical relationships and mathematical equations, we present them with all these problems, you know, weight, frictionless pulleys, massless strings, to show them how everything works. But then, that's a serious disservice that we do to our students, because then they go out into the real world, just like this cartoon that Jay Martin uh, produced that I, that I saw one day and used from then on in my classroom as an example, to keep reminding my students that when you go out into the real world, it's going to look like physics does not work. Because in the real world, you have to take things like work and energy and heat and friction in to add that to the equations to make them more realistic. So this, this, these two young men had decided to apply their knowledge of velocity and projectile motion to clearing this mud pit and alas, decided that once again the laws of physics had let them down. We do not want to let our students down. So we need to show them how science actually works in the real world to give them a better appreciation for the science. This set of materials also um, is so multidisciplinary that it transcends three of the four space mission directorate uh, uh, topics of, 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 fo of focus. There is uh, planetary science, which this one does not address. But there is Earth system science and astrophysics and heliophysics. And so this ice core record all actually uses uh, a lot of knowledge of the Earth science systems as long as, as well as heliophysics and solar weather and the effects of, that the uh, mass coronal ejections from the sun uh, produce on the surface of the Earth and we find embedded in the ice core record, as well as maybe evidence from supernovae or stars that have catastrophically collapsed thousands of light years away. So we again, here's the teacher ground, teacher back, here's, here's the teacher's background information, uh, which is broken into seven different segments. Normally I just have one background and introduction to investigations and activities, but this particular one, the history of this core, was so interesting and fascinating that I decided I had to, to break it into seven different segments. Because as a teacher, you may decide that you're interested in one or two or more of those segments, and you might decide to print them out and hand them to your students. You may not want to go over everything with them individually, but you might find something within here. You might even want to team teach with a history teacher to go more into the historical context to go along with uh, the time frame of the discrepant events in this ice core record. Then uh, there is the student um, investigation worksheet itself. 
there's a handout for the students, there are worksheets for the students, and we have several different varieties of the worksheets. Now we even have down here, you can download in a PDF format the entire ice core strip if you so desire. But I will warn you that the entire ice core record is printed out at this size, about eight feet long. Might be a little awkward to handle in the classroom. So you may very well decide instead to print it out in the um, format that we decided was the best way to use it realistically in a classroom.